And that our Savior Christ said none can enter into the kingdom of God except he be regenerated and born anew of water and of the Holy Spirit. I beg of you to call upon God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ, that of his plentiful mercy he will grant to this child that thing by which by nature she cannot have. And that she may be baptized with water and the Holy Spirit and received of the Christ's holy institution, Christ's holy church, and be made a lively member of the saints. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who of your great mercy to save Noah and his family in the ark from perishing by water, and also to safely lead the children of Israel, your people, through the Red Sea, Figuring thereby holy baptism and by the baptism of your well beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in the river of joy, did sanctify this holy, this water for this holy sacrament. We beseech you of your infinite mercy that you would look upon this child, wash her, and sanctify her with the Holy Spirit, that she be received into the ark of Christ church and be steadfast in faith joyful through hope and rooted in love may so pass the ways of this troublesome world that finally she may come to the land of everlasting life there to reign with you world without end through jesus christ our lord and the church said together amen, amen. almighty everlasting god who the most dear and beloved son jesus christ for the forgiveness of our sin did shed out of his most precious side, water, and blood. And gave a commandment to his disciples that they should go teach all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Regard, we ask the prayers of this congregation. Sanctify this water for this holy sacrament. And grant that this child may now be baptized may receive the fullness of your grace and ever remain in the number of your faithful and elected children through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Who presents this child for the sacrament of Christian baptism? Would you please answer these questions? Do you accept the responsibility to see that she be taught the nature and meaning of this holy sacrament? Will you by personal example live before this child the light that becomes the gospel? Will you encourage her to give regular attendance to the appointed means of grace, such as the ministry of the word, the public and private worship of God? In order that she may know these things better, will you read and encourage her to read the holy scripture? Learn the Lord's Prayer, the Ten Commandments, the Apostles' Creed, the Catechism, and all of the things a Christian ought to know and believe to her soul's health in order that she may be brought up to lead a virtuous and holy life, remembering always that baptism does represent unto us that inward purity which inclines us to follow the example of our Savior Jesus Christ. Will you teach her that Christ died and rose again for us? So should we who be baptized die unto sin and rise again unto righteousness? Will you continually encourage by the subduing of all corrupt affections and daily endeavor to see that she grow in virtue and godliness? Hear the words of the gospel written by St. Mark in the 10th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse, that's the congregation to please stand. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me, do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whosoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying hands upon them. Name this child. Yes, please. Hey, sweetheart. You like me already. <laughs> Destiny. 
the name of Johnson. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Let us recite together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, 